The following video has been approved by the Jetty marketing team. The video has been rated Jetty. The following video may not be suitable for all viewers. G'day, mate, and welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, Jetty. Today, today, we're going to be doing a special first episode. First episode of a, a brand new, like, mini-series. We're going to be covering science, okay? We're going to be covering the ratios of science, how to build all the different science builds, starting with the electromagnetic electromagnetic matrix then we're going to move on to wrong button the energy matrix we'll probably do both these two inside one episode uh and then i'm going to be doing separate videos obviously for the structural matrix the information matrix the gravity matrix and i think i'm going to do a video on the universe matrix so we're looking at like like five part mini series so to speak um so with that out of the way that's what we're going to be covering well that's what this this video is going to be about uh science how to make science how to build it to ratio to make a certain amount of packs per minute um so if you like that sort of idea you want to see the rest of the videos in the series by all means click the subscribe button at the same time if you like it like it as an idea by all means click the like button i'd very very much appreciate it so first thing we're going to be covering is going to be our uh electromagnetic matrix yes okay um i have the build here it's a very 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 simple build to get our science up and running we need to set you to do blue uh and i think the best thing we can probably do first is just power it up now it is built to ratio it will take us just a second for everything to boot up um but we're going to start with our basics so obviously for our very first matrix we need the magnetic coils and the circuit boards okay uh magnetic coils are obviously magnets and copper and the circuit boards wherever they are are iron two lots of iron and one lot of copper in saying that we need one copper smelter that's all we need to actually have this build run okay and we need one iron smelter we are going to need one and a half magnet machines because they actually take one and a half second per craft so i did one and a half we've always obviously had to round up to two because i couldn't magic up a half a smelter i tried uh on top of that we're gonna need one magnetic coil machine okay again they only take one second to craft we're aiming to get three of these labs running at full speed so our plan is to basically try and work around like one item per second uh, as long as something takes one second to craft we should be able to get away with it in the case of the magnetic coils actually we don't need that many of them we only need 0.67 of a machine so a, a little bit lucky a little bit lucky that i've been able to get away with you know just having one machine that is not actually being fed fast enough because our magnets take a little while to build but as you can see the magnetic the magnets are going in perfectly fine and as for our copper we had to use two extra long sorters consequently i've had to build up two of them because they only travel at half a uh, 0 0.5 trips per second because of their length but as you can see we do have the iron running down the middle we have the copper running down the middle it's sort of worked at the cost of an extra sorter over here we actually have the uh, circuit boards of course they have iron coming on a short belt and copper coming on a yeah, it's a little bit longer, but it is actually perfectly fine because they need way more iron than they need copper. Now, unfortunately, because this is built to ratio, and that's the biggest thing, because it's built 100% to ratio, it is going to take a little while to catch up, okay? Uh, in the meantime, we can see that our labs are already running. They obviously take three seconds to craft, and obviously I want to have all three of them running. So this one is making 20 per minute. That one will make 20 per minute. It's already got four circuit boards and counting. This one will eventually have the circuit boards. It's already full of the uh, magnetic coils, and that will also do 20 per minute. So that's 20, 40, that'd be 60 per minute, and that's really the target we're looking for, one per second. So, as I said, uh, this is a very, very basic build. One copper, one iron, one and a half magnets, 0.67 of a magnetic coil machine, and 0.67 of a uh, circuit board machine. That's all we require to get this up and running, and as we can see, our third lab has finally kicked in. So, with that out of the way, we should be able to bring up our production stats. Find science uh, on this planet. Can I star you, please, and set it to one minute? and we're gonna see that third lab has kicked in in about 30 seconds this will go up to 60 per minute which is that's the target we're aiming for we're, we're aiming for with all these videos to make 60 per minute if you wish to double it by all means double it okay build twice as much take this whole build and double it I have two copper uh two iron obviously 0.67 of, of a um 
magnetic coil machine, if you double it, again, you're going to need two of those. And same with these circuit board machines. But you could double this, you could triple this, all without too much hassle. The, the very first science, obviously being the first one, is very, very easy to build. And there we are, 59 per minute, aka 60. There we go, 60, perfect, on the nose. All right, with that out of the way, the next one I want to cover is going to be our, whoop, wrong button, our energy matrix. Now, I've chosen intentionally, even though it requires energetic graphene, which you can get from, directly from coal, you can also get it from uh, oil cracking. So, uh, we should probably cover that really quickly. When you unlock the energy matrix, okay, uh, after uh, already unlocking uh, the plasma extract refining, obviously to get the oil, to get hydrogen, to start doing the science pack, as soon as you unlock this guy, the very, very first research I recommend you get is X-ray cracking. X-ray cracking is going to let you turn your excess light oil over to hydrogen. I'll actually link up the top right-hand corner um, a video where I covered X-ray cracking in its entirety to get a lot more hydrogen because, honestly, in that re really early game, you're going to need a whole bunch of hydrogen. Hydrogen is going to be very, very important to your game and what you're doing. And, yes, consequently, we have chosen to... Well, I have chosen to build this whole science um, just running off oil. Now, I could have used coal as a supplement to my energy graph graphite, but what I really want to do is I want to make sure I had a build that would keep running no matter what. So uh, over time, if this turns off, you can turn it back on very, very quickly, very, very easily. Uh, and it will just work. It'll just work. I love it when things just work. So first thing we need to do is we need to hook up power. Now, this is going to take a little bit longer to talk through. And it does produce some excess hydrogen that you're going to have to find a use for. But we'll cover that in a second. So first off, we have oil in. Oil in is going to give us one hydrogen and two light oil every five seconds, uh, every four seconds for every oil refinery. Got that? Sound confusing? Okay, let's simplify it. I have four oil refineries, okay? Uh, every four seconds, they're making one hydrogen and two light oil. Because I have four of them, it means every second I'm making one hydrogen and two light oil. That simplifies it a lot. Okay. Over here, I have eight cracking machines. Eight cracking machines are taking in my light oil that I'm making, okay, and getting rid of it. That's the important thing. They're getting rid of all the light oil. We don't need any light oil. At the same time, this recipe up here takes in that one light oil and two hydrogen and spits out three hydrogen and also spits out the energetic graphene that we're going to need. So let's do energetic graphene because it's going to be the simplest belt to follow. Uh, energetic graphene is coming out on a sorter that has been filtered straight down the middle and straight into science. Okay, it's done. It's dusted. We don't have to worry about it. We can ignore that entirely. Um, in fact, actually, our lab's already kicking in. As for our oil refineries themselves, um, we're going to do light oil next or refined oil next because that's the easiest to deal with next. Uh, it's coming out filtered. It's coming all the way out the back, going over the top of all the hydrogen, coming down and running a loop around all the refineries. Uh, all the x-ray cracking refineries and making sure it's been completely consumed. I don't want to see any of this stuff left over, okay? The idea of this build is it will completely consume it. Now, I, I will add a quick proviso here. If you leave science running, okay? Well, no, we'll, we'll add the proviso at the end. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. Okay, hydrogen. Hydrogen is coming out of our uh, oil refineries, okay? Straight belt of hydrogen comes down here, goes through a splitter. Okay, I want it to split up between these four x-ray crackers and these four x-ray crackers. That's going to be the important thing. So, I want my hydrogen to split in half. And then, as you can see, the way these guys are sorted is we're importing. So, going back to the recipe. Uh, that's the one we want. So, we're importing two hydrogen to then export three hydrogen. Okay, now follow me for just a second. So, that means this guy is going to pull in two and this guy's going to dump three back there, which means that it has a chance to recycle its own hydrogen because these guys back here only make one hydrogen. So we are using each machine to boost its own hydrogen, and as the hydrogen is on the closest belt because we're going to be moving the most of it, and again, we're using a sorter that's been pre-filtered to just put the hydrogen on the closest belt. And then this guy's doing the same. He's using his own hydrogen to boost him back up, his own hydrogen, 
his own hydrogen. And the exact same on the other side, if we just step around here. So, we have the exact same on this side, the exact same on this side, exact same on this side, and exact same on this side. Um, I actually, no, these are all broken. No, 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 no. Input and then out, it's outputting before it's inputting. That's the important thing. So, all our hydrogen is going to come down here. It's all going to merge together and then it's going to go to our labs. And as you can see, our labs are all running. They're all running already. If we flip to the other side of the belt, we can see that all the energy graphene is being used up. And because our energy matrix takes six seconds to craft, I have six matrix labs. That's the important thing, okay? Because they take twice as long to craft, I've got twice as many labs to make sure that we still stick with that one science pack per second because that's a much easier number to work with rather than having, oh, I've got like 14 labs. How much do I need? I don't know. I don't know. Like more than twice of this, this amount, because this is designed for six labs. Okay. So on the other side, our hydrogen, as you can see, I have two sorters bringing into our hydrogen on, bo on, on, on both our lab stacks. Um, now you could stack these higher. It means you need to use more sorters or faster in sorters. That is a perfectly reasonable option. In my case, I've, I've kept everything to level one tech and intentionally used two sorters to make up the speed difference. Okay, but I do have excess hydrogen passing by. Okay, the I guess the only downfall of this system is it outputs an extra no an extra twenty hydrogen per minute. Okay, so it's going to output an extra twenty hydrogen per minute. And think you need to find a useful. Um, the good news is, after building a whole bunch of oil refineries, and for the next science pack, you're going to build, need to build even more refineries. Uh, if we come to the power tab and we had some coal, uh, some brick on us to make uh, thermal power generators, they really like eating hydrogen. And the good news is, they make plenty of power. Not an, obs uh, uh, an obscene amount of power but way more than you've probably been seeing out of your wind turbines prior to now. And you've probably been th feeding your thermal power stations off coal up until this point or energy graphene. The good news is you can swap that over. You can swap that over and you can start using thermal power stations. The other option you can do is you can also use fractionators. Again, I'll link a video up in the top right hand corner where I cover fractionators in a whole lot more depth, but they basically eat, eat uh, hydrogen. So they are your two options to get rid of your excess hydrogen. The biggest thing about this system, and I'm going to cover this right now, is as you can see, our hydrogen comes out, oops, runs through this splitter, and then runs back down our belts and all the way back to down our science and then past our science to be potentially burnt off. So if you stop producing science, okay, um, eventually the light oil belt, this belt right here, will back all the way up all whoop, all the way back up the build all the way around the build all the way back and into your refineries and stop your refineries outputting hydrogen meanwhile all your hydrogen has bled past past your labs and into well something whatever you're using to get rid of your excess hydrogen so the only thing i do recommend and it is entirely up to you guys is the good news is the refined oil you can burn that too now because this system is perfect it should burn off everything it will burn off all the refined oil eventually uh you can take this belt run up one more tile and merge it in there and it does mean for whatever reason if the whole system is is just not doing anything it does mean this refined oil can now slide off the end of the belt back around here and go into whatever you're using to burn off that refined oil. Now, it's gonna pass straight past your labs, they're not gonna worry about it, and it'll be picked up in whatever you're using to burn off your refined oil. If you are using a fractionator, make sure you filter it out before that point, but that is a, a, a high recommendation if you plan on, yeah, um, not, if you plan on your science stopping forever at any reason, I guess that's probably the best way of putting it. If you're putting in a buffer box, you'll probably be safe, but I just need to add this just in case somebody comes back to me with like, I built your build, Jetty, and then it ran out of hydrogen. The only reason it runs out of hydrogen is because you happen to leave it running for too long, not actually doing anything, and all the hydrogen got, got passed through the system and burnt off into however you're burning it off. Uh, and as the best way to fix that is just link this belt back in here. It just means that refined oil can keep passing through and being burnt off in your power generators. 
Um, as you can see, apart from the first couple of, couple of bits of uh, oil that pass through, as long as my labs keep running, no refined oil actually makes it out of the system. It all gets burnt up. So that's it. That's it for this video. That is your very first two science packs. So that is our, I can't, can never remember the names of this. Uh, the electromagnetic matrix along with our energy matrix. Actually, we'll just check our production stats real quick. 60-60, I call that a win. Uh, yeah, so there's our very, very, very first two science packs. Uh, next video we'll be covering will be on the structural matrix, which is a little bit more complicated, requires a few more ingredients, uh, but we'll covering, be covering that in an upcoming video. As always, if you enjoy this sort of content, by all means, click the like button. If you want to chat more about Dyson Sphere or about the mods that have been coming out, by all means, come jump on our Discord. We already have a couple of modders actually on our Discord, and we have a couple of Factorio modders who are looking at Dyson Sphere modding as well. Uh, at the same time, we do have a lot of people discussing Dyson Sphere, discussing how some of the tips and tricks and stuff that they're learning as they're playing. Uh, lastly, if you want to see more Dyson Sphere, especially live, this is my my particular save from Twitch, where we just finished building Cybertron, where I literally foundationed a whole planet. Oh, that's some ore. Um, yeah, we've, we've just finished um, 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 foundationing a whole planet, and we're about to move on to setting up a new Dyson Sphere around our lovely uh, Type Zero Blue Sun. Uh, by all means, you can follow me on Twitch. That is twitch.tv slash jdplays. Finally, finally, finally. I do hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, I appreciate it if you click the subscribe button on the way out. And actually, the one last thing I should probably mention is there's a playlist on your screen right now. It's going to be covering previous Dyson Sphere tips and tricks and tutorial videos that I've done. By all means, have a click, a click of the playlist. Have a look. Maybe you're going to find something in there, in there that's going to help you guys as well. With all that said, as I said, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye.